Okay, guys, I've got me a situation here. I had me a dog proof coon trap tied to about a, I don't know, 25, 30 pound post. And I'm out here right now and it's gone. It's not here. It's drug off. And I can't see what direction it went. Oh, there it is over there, the coon. And the coon's dead. Hold on, Melvin. Yep, another big boar coon, he's dead. Ooh, I caught him in two traps. So it looks like he was dragging around my dog-proof coon trap on my apparently not big enough, uh, my not big enough drag here. And he stepped in my bridger number three dogless over here. So he's double done right here, this one is. He's done up. All righty, guys. I'll get with you down the, further on down the line. Okay, guys, we're back. I've got this coon set rebuilt. I've got it off this stupid drag. I'm just gonna leave it right here on the side of the pond. Pick up some of this wax paper. But I've noticed the coons really don't worry about that kind of stuff too much. They're not overly scared of people. Uh, I've got my coon taken care of. And like I say, I'm doing management for a guy that owns the property behind us. Take care of some, he found out I trap our land. And how many predators I've caught on our land and he knows that his borders ours. So he gave me the okay to trap his too. And that's my second coon off his property so far. I'm gonna take this trap right here, so gunked up. It was so bloody from that coon trying to chew his foot off that, that it's got blood caked into the mud in it everywhere that I'm gonna take. You kids watch out, there's a trap in that hole. Got more dirt holes for coyotes right there. On this pond where I had signs. This right here is where my dog proof coon trap was. It was on the drag. And as you can see, he drug it 30 yards before he found another trap. Alright guys, I'll get back with you at the end of the line.